We are so excited to welcome Qualtrics into the SAP family. And today, I'm going to show you a brief demonstration of some of that power of bringing together the X and O data. Now, I have this shoe company, Tread, and from a glance, I can see I'm missing my profitability forecast, and that is because of higher than normal HR expenses and lower than expected sales revenue. Now, let's drill in on what's going on with HR. This data is coming out of success factors. And I can see from the numbers alone that, hey, we're spending way more than usual on recruiting expenses, and we have very high employee turnover. Now, if I was just looking at these numbers, I may not know what to do or why this is even happening. But luckily, I'm also using the Qualtrics employee surveys. And so I can bring that together with my success factors data for a full 360 degree view. So I can analyze things like what's going on with my flight risk. And here it's showing me statistically my top influencers. So first off, it's letting me know that people who are leaving, it's because of career progression, followed by org tenure. And each of these different pieces are coming from either success factors or from Qualtrics. And I can drill in on these different pieces. So I see, you know, if they're quitting, they strongly disagree that they're having meaningful manager conversations. And if I want to know more about it, I can get down into detailed employee level feedback. So if I was wondering, what can I do? How can I stop people from leaving? They're telling me right here in the comments. And you can see they're saying things like, I want more training resources. I wish we would invest in coaching. I can take this information and immediately apply this. So I could go into my value driver tree, which builds out a full financial view of my company, and I could do some simulation and say, okay, well, what if I did increase my investment in my you know, training and education, but then reduced what I thought I was gonna have to spend in HR recruitment? And I can live simulate out what that's gonna end up looking like for my organization. And you can see that as I'm making this change, it's taking us out of the red in these HR categories and into the green. Now, my favorite part, though, is the fact that this doesn't have to be this reactive type of experience, but it's something where I could actually be predicting it in advance. So here I'm drilling into a more detailed view, and I can see individual managers and why people might leave in the future for each of these managers. So this is, again, taking together that Qualtrics data with that success factors data, but now what it's doing is it's doing predictions into the future. And I can see a risk score across all my managers, and I can drill into what's going on with that individual career feedback for each and every one of them. So this is just a, a quick view of the power of X and O, where we're not just reacting, but we're predicting exactly what we need to do to save money and to retain our top talent.